Sasa yako the fifth na naibu wako nitamkaribisha honorable Peter Munya azungumzie maswala ya kilimo My name is Sharon Wanjiko. You can also call me Makodo because I love avocado. I'm avo an avocado farmer as well as an avocado supplier. I'm from Muranga. As a young woman farmer, uh, one is that um, I have yes, challenge. Sir. One thing major is land. Like where I'm farming, I'm farming on lease. Uh, and leasing costs money. So the next challenge is finances. As a young person, I'm just out of school, um, with parents that have not are not well stable uh, financially so you get that you have the passion to do farming but the finances are not there but um, in in terms of at county at county levels we get some finances funds and also from the government so I urge um, Raila Odinga as he comes in to putting policies that have enabled me as a young farmer to, to borrow money from the government. When we have manufacturing plants in our, in our counties, that means I, as a young farmer, I have a ready market because I don't have the muscles to get, um, maybe for, like for avocado, I don't have the muscles yet to be an exporter. Hey, Asante sana, Baba the fifth, Kilimo ni sekta muhimu sana kwa taifa la Kenya inachangia kwa uchumi wa Kenya asilimia sita kwa uchumi wetu na inaweza kuchangia zaidi tukiweza kuleta mabadiliko ile inahitajika na lengo la asimio na serikali ya baba kunjenga pale tumefikisha kuongezea na kupanua kilimo ya zaidi kwa uchumi wa Kenya. Malengo ya kilimo yale muhimu ni kulisha taifa, kulisha wale wanalima na pia kuongeza mapato kwa mifuko ya wale wanalima na wale wengine wanahusika kwa hiyo sekta. Pia kilimo inachangia kupata pesa ya kieni wakati tunauza chakula na vile vitu vingine tunalima kule nje tunapata pesa ya kieni kwa nchi yetu. Pia kilimo inachangia kupata input za viwanda vietu Kama vile viwanda alikuwa nasema ya agro processing, leather na kathalika Kwa hivyo, hile muhimu na ambayo focus yetu itakuwa Ni kwa kikisha changamoto sile siko kwa kilimo Ambaso sinasuzuia kupata mapato ya njuu saidi Kama vile tulikuwa tunapata 1970s and sixties where we were able to feed ourselves and now we are almost uh, almost 50 50 kwa mambo ya chakula we are now buying more and more from outside kwa hivyo kudiru na hizo challenges ambazo sinatuzuia hiyo ndiyo itakuwa lengo muhimu kwa serikali ya baba na ya muhimu saidi kuchangia hiyo mambo ya ya kudiru na challenges hizo na kwanza ni kuhakikisha inputs sile sinatumika kwa kilimo siko ya bei na fuu wale wanalima wanaweza kununua to subsidize inputs because what that's one of the biggest challenges kwa kilimo fertilizer seeds eh, chemicals ile inputs zote zinatumika kwa kilimo sinaenda juu Eh, na watu wale wana, wanataka kutitumia wanashindwa kununua kwa hivyo hiyo kama baba amekuwa akisema kila mahali akienda agriculture hakuna agriculture without subsidies lazima tu subsidize kilimo ndio wale wanalima waweze kulima waweze kupata uh, income ndio waweze kuendelea na kilimo pia lazima tupanue eneo ile tunalima tuko na ardhi nyingi ambayo itumiki kwa kilimo tuhakikishe Watu wame access ardhi zile asitumiki hasa ardhi za serikali ambazo kwa sasa asitumiki kwa production tuweze ku access wakulima waweze kuingia huko. Pia lazima tufanye ile inaitwa modernization ya kilimo yetu. 
tuweze kutumia vifaa vya kisasa tuweze kufanya ile tunaita mechanization ndio tuweze ku expand production na tuleta efficiency ndio tuweze kuremshe ko, tu, costs ya production ndio tena tupanue kilimo yetu pia lazima tuhakikishe wale wanahusika kwa sekta ya kilimo wanaweza kupata mkopo wa gharama ya chini hiyo mikopo iko saa hii lakini tuipanue zaidi zaidi ndio kila mtu ambaye anahitaji kuingia kwa kilimo anaweza ku access affordable credit aweze ku kwa kilimo pia tuhakikishe tumeenda kule tunaisa validation ya kilimo tuwache mambo ya kutumia raw material i mean kuuza eh, vietu, vietu, vietu vya kilimo ikiwa vile imetoka kwa shamba tuweze kuongezea value ndio wakulima na wale wasikandao wengine wanahusika kwa sekta ya kilimo waweze kupata pesa zaidi kwa mifuko mifuko yao na ndio tuweze kuuza kule nje kwa masoko yale mengine vitu vya kilimo ambayo tumeweza kuongezea value ile tunaita value addition kwa hivyo ile tunasema mambo ya angri, eh, viwanda manufacturing sekta ile rahisi sana kuweza kufanya kwa haraka ni sekta ya kilimo kwa sababu raw materials zetu ziko tupanue agro processing tufungue viwanda vya agro processing kila mahali kama vile mipangwa already huko naivasha ingine kule Kisumu, ingine kule Mombasa na kule kuingine kote. Tuweze kupanua hivyo, tuweze kupata ajira na tuweze process, tuweze kuusa huko nje. Changamoto ingine ya muhimu ambayo inatuhusu sana ni kuona vile tutaleta vijana kwa kilimo. Na njia ya kuleta vijana kwa kilimo ni mambo ya kuleta teknolojia, kuanya kilimo iwe rahisi kufanya isiwe ni ile ya zamani ya njembe iwe vijana pia wanahusika kwa value chain ya kilimo ndio kilimo yetu iwe modernized. Kwa hivyo kwa kifupi bila kusema sana hayo ndio malengo ya serikali ya baba Raila Amolo itapochukua ikinjenga kwa ile foundation already imewekwa na president Uhuru Kenyatta na Kibaki na wale wengine tukienda mbele. Kazi ya baba si kubomoa kuna wengine nasikia wakisema wao wakiingia ni kubomoa. Kujaribu kuanza upya. Sisi ni kunjengea kwa ile foundation already laid ndio to leak frog Kenya into development building already on what is already existing in the country. Asante sana. Thank you very much.